What is a lunchies and let's get right into it. We're going to keep it short, sweet, and simple. If you're a truck driver, if you're a local truck driver, if you're in the construction field, mining, oil fields, whatever, if you don't have access to a microwave and you're always bringing cold lunch, then lunch ease is going to be for you. First off, we have the lunch ease. This is the premium version. I don't know the exact model of it. It's got a lithium ion battery. It's got a nicer LCD screen on it. You can see right there, it lights up, says lunch ease. You got all your time settings, heat settings, um, everything of that nature. You got four buttons on here to navigate. It's super simple. This particular one has Bluetooth. You can connect it to your phone. It's a real simple design. You got your battery, your computer in here, your lunch box, your little container. These are lunch ease branded containers. As far as I know, you have to use them. It's going to have a little hot plate in here, which makes contact with the bottom of the container. And that's what's actually gonna heat your food. But can, now the heat range on these goes from 170 to 220 degrees Fahrenheit, depending on what you are reheating is gonna depend and decide on your heat temperatures. Now what you don't wanna do is burn your food to the bottom of the container. I, I watch the comments on lunches and I see people, there's a handful of people always that say like, it doesn't reheat my food, it doesn't work, it doesn't do this. If you put dry food in there, like if the food's been in the fridge for a few days and it just naturally dries out, it's gonna have a harder time heating it up because of the radiant heat. Now what I do is in that case, I'll open this up, put my food in there and I'll just splash some water on there. It doesn't have to be a lot, just a little bit. So when it's heating up, it creates that little bit of steam and helps cook everything, or I shouldn't say cook, I should say reheat everything evenly. I don't know if you can see a size comparison. Uh, here's the iPhone 12 Pro, and here is the container. There's a the depth right there. I don't know if that helps to like give you guys a better gauge of what this is, but I'm gonna tell you right now that you can fit a lot of food in here. Uh, I went and got Chinese food with two, like uh, the chow mein, fried rice, and then two sides. I could actually cram everything in here. Now, when you cram stuff in there like that, you might need to make it heat up a little longer. The standard cook time or reheat time on this is two hours. So if you're going to eat your lunch at two, it's going to come on at noon. If you need it to cook longer, you kind of have to play with the settings. You can't actually make it heat longer, but you can trick it into heating longer. If you tell it you're going to eat at 1 o'clock, but you're going to eat at 2 o'clock, it's going to come on at 11, and it's going to heat for 3 hours. If you set it at 10, it's going to think you're eating at noon, but if you eat at 2, that's actually 4 hours. By then, your battery probably will be depleted, depending on the temperature setting. This thing is supposed to run around 4 hours, give or take. I haven't really tested that out, but I also have never had a problem with the battery dying and it not heating food. If you set it up to 220, it's obviously going to use more battery than if you... I, I find about 180, 185 degrees to be about the sweet spot on this thing. Now, they do make a model that is below this one that has like your basic numeric LCD screen. Still the same settings, but without the Bluetooth. If, what I do is I put all my food in here, and I do things a little different. Once in a while, I bring, bring leftovers, if I could speak. I bring leftovers and reheat them. I'll set it to come on two hours, hour and a half before. And again... The design on this is two hours. So whatever time you tell it to eat, it's gonna come on two hours before. So you either have to set it before or after your lunch to get the setting exactly the way you want it. Some things might not be cooked as long as other things or whatever. Or you could just turn the heat setting down too. You could cook it longer on a lower heat setting. There's so many different options that you can do with this to play the system and kind of get it to do what you want it to do. I personally, what I do, and this isn't how it's designed to work, but I found that you can do this. I put like three, three frozen fillets of tilapia. I put like five or six frozen shrimp and I put as many frozen broccolis and cauliflowers as I can fit in there. I throw just a splash of water with some butter and lemon pepper. I eat at two o'clock. So I tell it I'm eating at one. It's gonna come on at 11. It's gonna cook for three whole hours at 185 degrees by the time I'm eating my lunch and everything is perfectly cooked by then. You could almost, what do they call it, sous vide in these things? Like if you put steak in a bag and fill it with water, you could almost sous vide. If it had a little bit lower of a heat setting, you could almost do it. I'm kind of curious, we might actually try that. Now again, this thing is not designed to cook. It's designed to reheat, but you can play the settings, you can play the system to get it to do what you want. And it, but if you're in a truck, or again, a setting, or you don't have a microwave, 
Like highly, highly recommend one of these. You really just can't go wrong. And uh, this thing has completely changed my lunch experience at work because I don't have my access to a microwave. I was eating sandwiches, I was eating lunch meats, I was eating cold leftovers, and it just gets old. I mean, once in a while I would be able to set my food on the defroster and get it warm a little bit, but really not enough to make a difference. I mean, there are so many things you could do. You could even do nachos. You could put your cheese and all your stuff in here, heat it up, and you have a whole tray full of chips. I mean, there's so many things that you could do even off the label. When I do say off the label stuff, the, the, I talk about the stuff that I figured out this thing can do, not what it was designed to do. And that's just how my brain works is I'm like, how can I get the most out of this thing? And honestly, for the money, this thing has paid for itself time and time again. But just the amount of money you save by being able to bring that hot meal, you're not going in pilot, you're not stopping at the gas station, you're not buying all that like pre-done food or processed food crap that you normally would be. So from a health standpoint, these things are amazing. From a convenience standpoint, these things are amazing. I'm going to rate this thing a solid 9 out of 10. Also, again, the insulated lunchbox is a must in my opinion or some type of insulated lunchbox. I recommend all the Lunch Ease products and accessories. I used to have the silverware and the little cooler pack, but I did end up leaving that in a rig at work and I don't know what I did with it. I got to order more. I'm also going to be ordering more of these containers. I have two of them. I have one for my food, one for my snacks. I want to get about five more of them so that way I can meal prep. I can go ahead and get everything ready. And with the way I do my meals, I can just leave them in the freezer and go ahead and pull them out the night before. So maybe they can thaw a little bit. And the benefit to that is everything stays cold. If there's anything else you want me to talk about about this, let me know in the comments and I will make another video coming up here in the future about this. And if you guys want to see the stuff that I cook in this and stuff that's especially not even designed to be cooked in this, go to my TikTok and there'll be a playlist for every month. There's gonna be four videos. I'm gonna show you what I have for lunch. Um, this month's videos are gonna be really interesting. So go ahead and check it out.